in the distance hear the thunder a mount falls of snow in silence and in wonder we will go out into the ice fields further to In silence and in wonder and in light So big, so small In the wonder of it all We walk on Big, so small, in a wonder of it all. We walk on, we walk on, we walk on. Fred has been uh, has been great to remind us uh, over the past week to think about where we are, think about our place and I think that's quite important not just in terms of, of geography and physical space but also in terms of time and this being part of the International Polar Year and being the official student expedition of International Polar Year I, I don't think we we can quite contemplate how special that is but one way that helps to think about it has been to listen to the stories that that Fred and Fritz have been able to tell about their experiences during the International Geophysical Year, the last International Polar Year, 50 years ago. The International Polar Year is a coordinated effort which has changed the course of science during the last 125 or so years. The most important thing that will come out of this is Ivy White, I think will be a bigger understanding of how biological uh, processes match together with geophysical and purely physical processes. And secondarily, how our education system uh, at all levels, from the knowledge of the native peoples in the north to the formal school systems in different countries where quite different in China than they are in the Western world and so on. Now they all can take into account uh, an understanding of the overall picture of our planet. It's not just a globe spinning in space, it's a globe on which we are passengers. And we're just passengers, we don't, we don't steer it, we don't spin it, we go, we go along and it works its own way. And how do we live on this spinning globe which has just by through no fault of ours, has a whole range of, of living things from bacteria to bowhead whales and, and increasingly more and more humans who don't really hook onto the other things. And we hope the kids will hook on better than we did. Um, people of, from different walks of life will have to set aside their differences and set aside their self-interest and greed and come together and work together we can't fall back into our daily routine, that we have to constantly be going out there, we have to reflect back onto this place and remember what we felt here and then try to bring that back there because you'll fall back into your daily routine without even knowing about it. Somehow it has seemed quite exciting to uh, bring not visitors as tourists but bring students who can learn and integrate the new environment they see here into their whole background uh, for the rest of their life. We uh, have tried to make this not just uh, a, uh, a fun trip, but have them think a bit more deeply about just what does this mean for planet Earth and what is their individual responsibility, each one of them. There may come a time when, when you're thinking back to the International Polar Year when you were on Students on Ice Bay, 
landed on the sea ice. And here there's a whole other group of students participating in International Polar Year, doing scientific research 50 years on. And you'll be able to pass along some of your experiences about the poles, but also the ecological uh, problems and also solutions that the world has to offer and that you guys have to offer as individuals. When I get home, after what I've learned, I'm probably going to just try to raise awareness. So many people just don't realize it. It's not in the front of their minds. Um, so I'm going to make it my goal when I get home to have everyone make it be in the front of their minds. It's so important. It can't just sit there in the back of your head, oh yeah, climate change. You have to really think about it. You have to really, really work towards stopping it. To pass a torch in, in civilization, just as in a relay race, in the relay, the person you're passing to has to be ready to take it, or else it'll get dropped. And I think it's, due to, it's the duty of all of us to uh, say enough about what kind of a race we're in and what are the rules of that race uh, before we actually pass the torch to it. Before I came to this trip, I agreed to lecture in a few schools, tell about my experience and uh, a couple of interviews and I was left to think what can I take from here back to my country and how can I help to make a difference. Having this experience really makes me think what else can I do other than in my community but around the world globally not just in Antarctica, but all over the place. It's sort of planted that seed in my mind and it's starting to grow.